right now I have a save switch which is called as item on back order results. So I have saved this save switch already. The save switch ID is a 140. That is the internal ID of my save switch. And this is the save switch which I'm going to use to create my CSV file using script task module. So in order to do this using a script, we need two things. One is the save switch. I have the save switch now. And on the other hand, I need a blank CSV file and that should have been uploaded to some folder wherever you want to store the values. And note on the internal ID of the CSV file. So I have a simple schedule script here, which is using the task module. In order to explain this code, see I'm just trying to create a task for search and I'm providing the save search ID for this particular search task, which is 140. There is two options. What you can do is you can either provide the path of the CSV file. You can also provide the file ID of the CSV file. Right now, if I go back to my CSV file, so this is my CSV file whose internal ID is 9895. So I have specified the internal ID here. And then I am trying to submit this particular task. Once I submit this particular task, I will get the search task ID. And based on that search task ID, I can check the status whether it is completed or failed or still it's pending, something like that. So based on that, if you want, you can add any additional code. Now I have already uploaded this particular code in Netsuite. And also I have created the script deployment for this particular schedule script. Now only thing which is left out is just to execute this. So I'm going to click edit and I will click save and execute. Now the script is complete. Let's check the results. I haven't added any logs, so mostly I won't be able to find any logs here. Let's go to our uh, file cabinet. Let's refresh this particular folder. And now I can see the size has been changed from two bytes to 362 bytes. Now let's download this particular file and verify our results, whether it matches with our research result. So here is my downloaded file. I can see the headers and the CSV results. I can see around five results in this. Even here it is five results and it matches all the columns. It does not have the internal ID from this by default which Netsuite is adding. If you want we can add additional columns for internal IDs and that should be appearing here.